In this question, we have to decide what can be deduced from the neutron number versus proton number graph for stable nuclides. I have drawn this graph below. The orange line represents how neutron number varies with proton number in stable nuclides. And the blue dashed line is the line where the neutron number proton number ratio is equal to one. So from the orange graph, we can see that as proton number increases, the neutron number proton number ratio becomes larger than one. We also know that protons repel each other because of the electromagnetic force. This repulsive electromagnetic force is balanced by the attractive strong nuclear force. This is the reason why the nuclides of atoms are stable and why they don't fall apart. So what we see from the graph is that as proton number increases, neutron number increases faster in order to provide this balancing force. The range of the electromagnetic force is infinite, while the range of the strong nuclear force is very short. So as a nuclide becomes larger and larger by increasing proton and neutron numbers, certain protons and neutrons will be farther and farther away from each other within the nucleus. The electromagnetic force is not really affected by these increasing distances. However, the strong nuclear force diminishes with distance. Since neutrons are not affected by the electromagnetic force, adding neutrons to a nucleus increases the strong nuclear force, while it doesn't increase the electromagnetic force. So summarizing this, what we can deduce from the graph is that as stable nuclides get larger, they have to have more and more neutrons compared to protons in order to provide the balancing strong nuclear force because the strong nuclear force has a very short range. After this long explanation, we can finally conclude that the answer to this question is A.